Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this training video is start to take a look at creating parts using 1CNC geometry. Now, a lot of times you might be getting your part files already created using electronic file format like iGES and so on. But in these examples, I want to show you what it's like to simply create geometry within 1CNC. Now, in that case, you'd probably have something like a blueprint, maybe a mylar or something like that. And in my example, I've got our blueprint on a separate layer called print box. Now you don't have to do this. This is just for training purposes. And the reason why we have this is just to make sure that I'm on track as we're building our model here. Another tip I'd like to point out is that with creating geometry, you always want to see if your parts have fillets and chamfers. If they have fillets and chamfers, save those for last. And the reason for that is 1CNC provides many tools for easily creating fillets and chamfers. So what we're going to do is create this rectangle first, and then what we'll do is we'll put the fillet chamfer, and then we'll end the video by putting this hole right here, right at the very center of this fillet. Okay, so if we look at the blueprint here, we can see that the dimensions are 6 inches by 3 inches. I'm going to turn the blueprint layer off, and by the way, for more information regarding layers, check our layers uh, video that's dedicated to layers on this training CD. Okay, so we want to create this rectangle 6 inches by 3, and there's lots of ways to do that within XR5. Let me show a couple of them. First off, I'm going to head to line. And because our dimensions are fairly simple, for example, 6 inches and 3 inches, we can just digitize this by grid snapping. I can just left click the datum, come over here to 6 inches and left click, come down to minus 3 and Y and left click, back over to X0, left click, up here, left click, and when I'm done, I can right hand mouse click. That's one technique. Now, I'm going to undo this just by hitting the undo button. And let me show you how to do this using coordinate input. So we'll go to line. Uh, we're going to start at X0, Y0, Z0. So I'm going to click OK for that. Now I'm going to type in 6 inches. That's the next uh, position for the line. I'll click OK. And you can see that as I type in different values, the field turns green. And that shows me that I've typed in new uh, information there. It'll stay green until I click OK. Now we're going to go back to X0. We'll click OK, back up to Y0 and click OK. Uh, when we're finished with that, there's really nothing else to do. You can right hand mouse click or select a different option. Okay, so that's, that's a technique. Let me show you just yet another one. If you're going to create a rectangle, we definitely have a tool dedicated for creating rectangles. That's also located within line. We can select rectangle. You can use coordinate input, but I'm going to speed things up a little bit and just left click the datum, drag it over here to X6, Y minus 3, left click, and that's it. Just right hand mouse click to finish that. So if I bring my uh, blueprint layer back up, you can see that we're right on track. That looks good. Now if we look at the chamfer, we can see that this line here is 4 inches. Uh, so 6 minus 4, that's 2 inches here. And if we see 3 inches and 1 inch, so really what we have is just a chamfer that's a, a 2 inch chamfer that's been placed on here. And then up here we have this fillet which is a 1 inch radius fillet. Let's put the fillet in next. So I'm going to turn that off. Let's head over here to arcs. Now we select arcs because fillet is a type of an arc. Again, my screen is, is uh, truncated or small. This is what your screen will look like and you'll see the, the name fillet there. I'm going to put this back. I just have limited uh, screen capture area here. So there's a fillet. We're going to grab our fillet tool and the radius for the fillet's one inch. It doesn't matter which one of these lines you digitize first. I'm going to just left click here. As I come down, I get a nice preview for that. I'll left click. And when we're finished, we can right hand mouse click. So that's looking good also. All right, now let's put our chamfer in. We're going to go to our line tools. There's my auto save. Uh, here's chamfer. And we've got a chamfer distance. I'm going to type in two inches for that. And that's because this distance here is two inches and that distance there is two inches. Again, it makes no difference which one of these lines you digitize. I'll left hand click here, left click there. That looks good. So I can right hand mouse click or I can just select a different option over here to finish that. Let's check that up against our blueprint. That's looking really good. And now we have a uh, hole to put in here. And this is at the arc or center of this fillet. And it looks like it has a radius of 0.25. Okay, so let's build that. We're going to come over here to our arc tool. And down here, for, now this gives us a diameter and our blueprint gave us a radius. So I know it's easy to figure out. We can say, okay, 250 times 2 is a half inch. But I want to point out that whenever you have numeric fields within 1CNC, you can type in a formula. So I'm going to type in 0.25 times 2. And then if I hit the equal sign on the keyboard, 1CNC will figure that out. 
Now to place this at the center of this arc, it's not it's really easy. It's not a problem. You just come over, wait till you see that little diamond symbol that shows us that we're at the arc center. Just left hand mouse click and we're finished so we can right hand mouse click or select any other option over here. So there's our very first part and it was very simple to put in. Lots of ways to create the geometry. If we match this up against our blueprint, we can see we were right on track there. All right, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.